Hello everybody, welcome on back to baseball here, youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean, playing baseball every day, <laughs> every day that the Mariners play uh, for the rest of the season through November, so get excited. Today, it's game number two against the Oakland Athletics, a team that I would say we kind of underperformed against, even though we still got a victory, a 6-0 victory. Uh, we missed some pitches, though the, uh, we missed some pitches offensively, though the pitching and defense was superb, so there is that. Um, I think Luis Castillo, we, yeah, we had a complete game shot out with him. So we've actually really done a nice job uh, bouncing the bullpen back um, into into shape. Otherwise, uh, after like an injury and a real poor performance in Kansas City, it was a little weird there for a little bit. But we've gotten a couple of eight inning starts out of some guys and a couple of complete games from, I want to just say Luis Castillo himself, maybe another complete game from one other guy, but... It's, uh, it's looking a little bit better. We're 105 and 26. We're 10 and 0 in our last 10 games, uh, even though the offense hasn't been performing very well. And at times the defense has been a little leaky with some of the pitching locations and stuff like that. Uh, James Caprillion is on the mound for the Oakland Athletics, four and 10 with a 4.75, 4.57, excuse me, ERA. Joey Wentz is on the mound. He has a higher ERA at 4.64, but has as many wins with fewer losses, four and two as he is covering for the injured Marco Gonzalez, who I would be surprised if we saw back at all this season. Even though it hasn't been the cleanest of games for the last couple of weeks, we still have been getting victories, which has been nice. We've clinched the American League West. We're looking for that best record in the conference or in the in the league, um, and that should give us the home field advantage that we probably will really need uh, throughout the division and championship series. So yeah, clear skies. Open that bad boy up. Come on. Joey Wentz. We are going to need to. Hmm. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to make some switching around here. We're gonna give Mateo the day off. We are going to put Haggerty at the two. We're gonna put Rodriguez in the one. Crawford in the three spot. Ty France. Ty Oscar. Left hand. Yeah, that should be fine. Anybody else need a day off? Ty France could probably use one. Rodriguez. He should be good. We have the day off on Thursday, so he should be all right. But I don't think uh, Mateo was going <laughs> to be able to make it through both games. Okay. All right. Lineup is fine. Let's uh, let's jump on in. Weirdly enough, and I noticed this yesterday when I was recording um, uh, NFL primetime that went up this morning, so go check that out. The Oakland Athletics in our MLB The Show uh, series have the same record as the real life Oakland Athletics, thirty-eight and ninety-four. Hello, it is fans and utterly bizarre. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Seattle Mariners. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. All and right. say we're going to see a nice little win Ten streak game winning to the streak. test today. Yeah, these feel guys pretty are good really about extending this at least through right the rest now. of the and month. Me, the but is with that the, doing the, little the unevenness well. in the offense, I'm a little worried. Or big plays it just feels game. good to have good situational baseball um, executing and key good to have the AL West that's how you string together wins. So we'll see if they continue that in this one. We will have just about set to go 30 now. games in this game, left after Joey this one. Wentz. Do we went on the mound? Two starts, really four and two record. Uh, four six four lines, ERA, eighty three point one innings pitch, ninety hits, a whip of one point four two. Strikeouts, and walks, in strikeouts and walks right there at the, the bottom. Tyler Wade, a drag bunt really to start the game. The wind and the pitch. That one's in there. Of course, that is a pretty good call against me early in the game, or just kind of in general. I don't do. Uh, particularly well against drag bunts. Kind of a generous swing there. I do forget how slow or how long you have to wait at the top uh, for Wentz's windup. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Got him looking. Up of the strikeout. Strike top of the zone. Up in the zone. Exactly. Now it's Chase Peterson. Good Number defender. Six. He's been Jeez. inconsistent offensively. So good start here for the Mayors with a strikeout to lead things off. 
Swing and a ball lifted left and even field. And there's two better down. continuation as we get uh, the one pitch out. Batting third, the first baseman, number 99. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. And that's in there for strike one. Ripped on a line. Rodriguez. Rio with a nice grab, and we are out of that inning out. fairly easily there. So go quickly and that's quietly good stuff. There. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. It's Major right. League Baseball. Who and are it's we? We are facing show. James Caprillion. Back in Seattle, and 26 starts with a 4 and 10 James record. Caprillion. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. 4 5 7 yeah, ERA, 141.2 innings pitch. He's given up 148 gym, hits, 53 so walks, we'll 106 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.42. Bottom of the first, here's a speed threat Julio Rodriguez. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. 96 I mean, on a fastball, 87 on a slider. So change at 87. Curveball at 82. Sinker at 97. The pitch. That misses the zone. 1-0. and oh. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. The wind to kick the 2 0. -oh. And that's in for a right strike. Right down the middle. Wow. Dang. Was not looking for that location. I was kind of thinking about that was going to be the pitch, but. Now a pop up on the infield. And we bailed Aguilar them out there. Makes the really late on a 94 mile an hour sinker. Way and inside. Now for Seattle, Sam that is not the start that we are looking for offensively. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's outside. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. There's a strike. In today's okay. game, not that many fast Looking a little bit more for the four-seam fastball. The minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Woo. Next offering keeps the zone okay. count even at two. Knocks that one away, and we'll Early do it again. On the circle change. I may be able to get that one over the first baseman's head. The 2-2. Good job that's that's that an okay swing. I mean, that's a 50-50. Could be strike three, could be ball three. One down, base is empty. There Line we drive. go. Well, perfect, perfect on a circle field. change. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a that little bit, third. maybe spread out, Not but shortstop. he got the job done right there. Ruffer. So up next, J.P. Crawford, ninth in the American League in batting average. First off, for good take right there the on the four-seam fastball. Haggerty stands at first with one out. And now two and nothing. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The next That's offering a great misses. take right there. I thought maybe he would try the circle change or maybe even the curveball like he did with the 2-0 count against uh, Sam Haggerty. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's ball four. There we go. Ball four. Four pitch walk. Excellent. Well, interesting. Patience he went with at the, the plate. Speed and cool. walk the hitter. The Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Oh. And here's the first baseman, Ty France, second in the American League in hitting. And a good oh, fastball to start him off. 
That's strike one. Yeah, way Last too late. He wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. No, no, no. Check swing. Appeal to first. No, he held up. And a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, there's the strike. Oh, really going oh, after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Stays alive. Everything's been a fastball. That's uh that's actually throwing me off. The pitch. That one misses. Finally two something balls, two off. strikes. Yeah. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. Oh, that's Next a bad swing. The bad well, swing. Really Second really forcing fastball that I've gone for. Lots of confidence from this that's team. way this out of the zone. In baseball right now. Next offering misses. And that would have walked the bases loaded. Oh, darn it. On deck for the ends. Three and two now. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Anxious on that one. And already up to 23 pitches. The 3 2 yes. is off the outside edge, and that is ball. That's forward. a good take. Nice Let's go. That at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In there for strike one. And the pitch. Hernandez with a high fly go, ball. Deep go, to left. Go, go. Back towards the wall. God Grabs damn it. Right up against the wall. Both runners tagging. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. That's good. not what I wanted. Oh, good timing, just a little under it. That one fouled off. Too aggressive on the swing there. Could have probably just let that one go early on it. And the righty deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Runners on first and third. Two away. That's off the mark. And it's one and two. And now two Ooh, and two. And that's generous a call there in the bottom game. of the zone. He's called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Still two and two after the foul ball. Looked like he got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We'll head to inning number two. With team That's Oval a Park. frustrating way to it's leave the an at-bat. And but. the A's nothing. And welcome back. Top of the second. Digging in for Oakland. Brent Rooker. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league. A couple level. of times we've had the bases loaded against this uh, Oakland Athletics team, and we have come away with very few runs. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Well, a swing like that can that help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's the catcher to hit, Tyler Soderstrom. Pitch is in there. Having this runner on might actually help with the pace here with uh, Joey Wentz. He is Nobody so asked, slow in his windup. 
getting him out of the stretch the might, might actually be a better try. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, Blue, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click. And he can hey, get quit out sucking out there. As possible. I'd be a great Misty teammate. Has now. Ground ball, left side, and that's just foul. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Fights it off. You'll see another. And he deals. And oh, come two. on. A good take. Give me that freaking swing. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Good feed. That's one. Let's go. Over to first. Let's That's go. two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mariners one and the A's nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And you had Suarez up to hit down. The third baseman. Hey, you Whoa, And the right hater back to work. And I am so surprised at that last Nowadays, hit with advanced uh, metrics and increased use was not of a moving home run. the infielders around. Out of the Defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? Next pitch misses, ball one. And an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Lifted in the air, right center field. Butler on his way over. One up, one down. Damn. Back when perfect, you played, perfect. it wasn't the empirical just, data we have now. It was there. a guy yeah, with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored oh, pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter regardless of who the pitcher is it was on the either mound. like the wrong perfect perfect or a generous perfect perfect uh, that was a that was a weird out swings and crushes one right field that's what you're looking for from a perfect ball. perfect cal raleigh get that fucking ball out of here he made him pay for that one jp crawford hit a home run of the year and they uh, the first pitch of the game on my it's friday night or whatever Ziggy, that's his the mariners tweeted it out in one of the accounts i follow like replied by saying but that ball nice had a family that a lot of guys don't get to that ball had a family power versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's gonna win well a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working Powers that fastball out of here. Damn, where was that Cal Raleigh hit with the bases loaded? Huh? Tramel, two homers in the game Tramel, yesterday. yeah, two so homers yesterday. Coming in. Yeah, oh, too aggressive. And misses and it's nothing at all. It's coming in way high. <gasps> no. Uh oh. Um, was he in the field? No, he was DH in there. Um. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Evan White. God 
Damn it, Sean. Next pitch just misses. One and two to count. That's the third. Peterson. Fires across the diamond. Two away now. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. I feel like the air really came out here. Just no. missed. A big old Cal well, Raleigh home so run and then the an the injury. And so I feel very deflated. Extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he oh. doesn't have as much outside oh. plate coverage. 2-0. Out front and foul to the left side. Now a screamer into the outfield. Um, Rodriguez okay, out of so the play. We're, uh, and we scored one run in each inning, so I guess that's a the positive. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning and stepping in the rookie left fielder, Connor Capel. That's in there. That's strike one. Wentz, 25 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Next offering is in for a strike. Struck him out looking. Oh, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off his shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And at that Neither point, of the, I mean, the first fastball is not in a great location. Kind of looks a little close, bit better. I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Nice little, uh, Digging nice in little strike the three pitch, though. Lawrence Butler. This one's going well. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that one is lifted in the Teoscar. air. Oscar. Hernandez squeezes it. Two away. Batting none. Zach Geller. Up next for the Zach. A's. Yeah. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First offering, and it just misses. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. In there. And so now one and two. Oh, Suarez. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Uh, so a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Back against the wall with a two strikes, but found a way. Pretty tough for the infield. It's not the hit you want to give up in that, that situation. Hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile. Not Suarez like would have a and shot at him, but just on first, so like we'll a half step. Get him into motion. That's towards center. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice play, Julio. He was and like maybe the the three quarters, half step, one. three quarters, the other step to his right. Nothing. Back in Seattle, ready to go for the last the half of the inning. And stepping no in for the Mariners, here. Sam Haggerty. Haggerty. Caprillion, back to work. Ball one on a pitch inside. Well, these Mariners doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. They have been they've much been better. Push a couple of runs across. A lot better today. Well. The Brilliant's kind of made it easy though, because he's thrown a lot of stuff out of the out of the strike zone. That was a, an example of impatience two and one. or running out of Still patience. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to Ooh, do more That was a good call on the circle change there. I was looking fastball up in the zone. 
Righty delivers. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Bounce to the oh, right. Oh, dang. Over to All right, pitch to swing on, just not the result we're looking for. We are driving this pitch count up, and that is a positive. 53 through two and a third. And a foul ball. Ah, that was it. That was going to probably be a double. Damn it. That's left. Hitting third in the lineup, and he won a gold glove in the shortened 2020 season. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. This one popped up. Wait, on the move. He's got it, and there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. Ty France getting Fastball ready to at the hit. top of the zone that I could really get to. Trip to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next offering is outside. It's a good call on the curveball. Looks really good coming in, and then it's much slower and falls off the table. Next one misses, and the count is even two and two. We have him at an average of 20 pitches per inning, which is like unheard of base for hit. me. <laughs> and that keeps the inning going. Nice little base knock there from Ty France, the doubles machine. Now batting. Right field. Didn't try to do too much Day with it, just third. a really controlled, simple third, swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Hernandez, Terrible. a former All Star, 30 years old now. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. On the oh, round of third. even worse. They get the force, and that is the inning. One left oh, for Seattle as they're unable to a, add to their 2 good, nothing not lead. Back at T-Mobile Park, all set for the start of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jace Peterson. Peterson. First pitch doesn't find Man, the zone. Man, that hurts. That is a beautiful pitch. It just went a little outside. And a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The wind of the pitch. That's the ball. Come on. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Hit in the air, right field. Hey, Oscar, Hernandez please, settles boy. underneath it. Makes the catch. One down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So digging in, Jesus Aguilar. That catches the outside corner. Thank God. Strike one. Thank God. That was such a nice pitch right there. At least as far as. And he pumps it a strike. The, whatever it's called. Here's the 0-2. Liner to second. It picked on the hop. On to France. Two up, two oh, down. It's only out number two. Okay. <laughs> I put my controller down like, here we go. That's Bottom four. Brent Rooker. So now it's the four hole hitter, Brent Rooker. And he's already singled in this game. 
in there, and it's 0-1. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. The 0-1 oh. is outside, oh, and it's come a ball on. strike. I might have to do that thing where I unplug and replug my controller. It's doing that weird... I know, I know, I know. I'm aware. That time, at least I know I took the battery out. Doing that weird bump at the, the top. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Hmm. I don't know why it does it. I assumed that because like I I had bumped it on my leg. Pitch misses there. That's a that's fucking strike. A rare three ball count. Are you here. serious? Strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three, and now it's filled up. Fouled off again, and what it remains on? three and two. With this stick. <laughs> and a pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he Yuck. gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the A's. They're still down. It's two zip. They only have a couple of hits through the first four innings, but it is throwing back. off my Bottom timing of with and no runners on. Colton Wong. The second baseman. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when Here he gets in. 97 home runs for Colton Wong. A drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. And now he moves his feet. Now you Whoa. see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Rips that one to right. Darn. Darn. Butler makes the play. And there's one away. The, batter, the third baseman, Eugenio. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. 0 for 1 so far. And fouled off. Sean, 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 what do we do? Owen two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Raleigh in the box now as he leaves that one up high. That's in there. And the count even at one. And misses inside. God damn it. Off the mark there. Come and on. Three and one. That one hammered center field. Get out? Rooker ranging back. Back some more. On the warning track. And holds it in. Mariners go down quietly there, but they're on top 2 nothing. Second perfect perfect. It's just been kind of like the variant of a lazy fly ball. Is the wind blowing in? Yeah, it sure to the is. Top of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. You know, these A's need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening nice for them so high far. France. Zero oh, extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough one to get anything going. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. He hit into a double play his first time up. And it's fouled away. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Oh, 
line oh, drive, right. and that's base hit out of the center field. Actually, this might help. His windup is so fucking slow. I, could watch base hits like I hate it. I, I honestly, so could every I do not Just enjoy nice pitching with Joey Wentz here. Like, he's fine. I don't... His pitch selection's pretty good. Runner takes off, and there's a foul ball. Whatever, but it's just, it's the length of time that you have to hold at the top. In the air, Ugh. right field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. Two down. Black. Now batting. The right fielder. And Lawrence. now here's a speed threat. Butler. Outfielder, Lawrence Butler. And he hits a ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. That's the third out. Okay, so we have given One up more hits Oakland, than we have to this athletic team, but I, we, oh, we're even. Okay. Uh, I think they've all been singles, which has been a positive. We head to the bottom like if you, of the fifth, if you can give up a hit away. with like one out and then turn a double play, I think that's fine with this, with this pitcher. The pitch. That one drifts oh, no. inside. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Domingo Acevedo preparing to come on if needed. Mole getting loose as well. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. That one out to right. Butler drifts towards it. Makes the grab one away. New pitcher on now, Kirby Snead. He pitched please. yesterday, and now we'll see him once again. Back to the Double top of the Seattle 93 order. slider at 85. Four seam at 96. Rodriguez. change at 86. Way inside, gets out of the way. The 1-0. -oh. And a foul ball. And downstairs. At least the swing I made was against a slider in the zone or against a pitch in the zone. Two and one now. Just a slow ground ball foul. this time. And he grabs Roll it foul. foul. And now the lefty. That's outside. And now three and two. And that's ball four. Nice little walk right there. And then we're going to get the advantage at bat here with Haggerty switching to his stronger side. With really good really good speed on first. Throws to first. Rodriguez back easily. In the box again, takes Come a strike. On, One strike. I like those pitch outs. I typically I tend to swing on those pitch outs. Wow, that was Rodriguez, early. Rodriguez, the base runner at first with one out. He's going. Runner on the goal. Pitch is oh. high. And oh, safe. It's a stolen base. Ziggy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible. I thought he was going to get got, but speed. for whatever reason, when he grabbed the ball, he went up with his hand. Runner leads away at second. Fouls it off, still one and two. Everything's been a slider. I'm having a lot of trouble slowing down to get any sort of decent contact on that. What two now? Hard hit left side. And there are two So the stolen base is going to give us a fighting chance here. I can't even slow down for that sinker. Going to give us a fighting chance with Crawford to try and drive in another run here. That's good news. Otherwise, I would have been into a double play. 
That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Real late on that one, okay. Bad swing. Come on. The 0 2. One ball. Two straight. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And a base hit into right center field. Here's Rodriguez there we go. trying to score. Finally he left the slider in a hit. spot that I could hit it. Got enough contact on it. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there. Three nothing. He didn't give in. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. So two down, and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Ty France. And first offering is fouled <laughs> off. I couldn't stay back on that one. Oh. That probably just puts runners on the corner, but, oh, that's a miss. Smash to the left side. To second, there's Wade, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball so we have on a the show. little bit of everything. We have a sacrifice fly scored. We have a uh, solo home run. And we have a little bit of small ball bringing him in from second. Scoring it a bunch of different ways. And not getting too frustrated with the, the at-bats. Top of the sixth the inning. Now is, the uh, A's designated Try and get wins Zach through Yellow. maybe six. Yellow. Or six, maybe seven. That one's in there. That's strike one. Yellow. Goes six this feet, three inches. Ton of energy. 205 pounds. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born oh, in the state makes. of Delaware. Going oh, two now. Left field. Haggerty under it. Pulls it in for the out. The batter number eight. Second baseman, Tyler. So the Oakland lineup Wade. turns over. Now here is Tyler Wade. And that's in there for strike one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, He's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Come on. And it's even up. Really? And here it comes. Foul ball. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Suarez pulls it down, and there's two gone. Jace Peterson up next for the A's. Jace Peterson. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Haggerty makes the grab and that's the inning. Three up, three well, we down. See. We're there. taking forever up uh, with our at bats. Six, and the five, six, seven the shorter half the innings defensively. Three, very and nice. And the A's nothing. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Domingo Acevedo. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. So digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder. Acevedo, the tall righty, 29 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Fly ball to center field. Shit. Makes a nice run of catch. One away. Now it's the second baseman. Acevedo with a 95 mile an hour fastball and 89 mile an hour slider. 89 on a circle change as well. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Deolis Guerra appears to be getting loose. Jeffries getting cranked up as well. Next offering is down low. Hey, now I'd like to thank the Xbox for not registering the input that I hit the A button. Was trying to swing at that path or pass that pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 
Next pitch, not close, up high. And the right-hander deals. No, now Sean can't one fail him out like that. Three and two. Okay. Right-hander kicks deals. There we That's go. That's a laser base hit. What we're so looking man for. Now with one away. Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez Whoa, up man. next for the Mariners. Let's go, baby, yeah. Suarez in his 10th season, 31 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Go on. Going one. Wong over at first with one That's away. That's the off-speed stuff that I'm looking for. Come on, Seattle. Oh, and two as he God waves at that damn it. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Goes down looking. <laughs> Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for now a little batting. while. Catcher. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can Whoa, overthink lady. things, Fuck. and I think that was the case right there. Raleigh at the plate now. That's ball one. The 1 0. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Really? And a pitch. Good, eye good take. Right good there. take. Good take. I can feel, feel myself wanting to swing at it. That's inside. In the air, center field. Rooker under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Oh, Mariners leave man. one, but they lead it 3 nothing. We go to the top of the seventh. Now, the Jesus Aguilar. The, base, the Athletics in striking Jesus. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. First pitch, just misses. Now, one and one. It's been kind of the story as far as the offense has been concerned. Is like. The why to kick the pitch. Strike a bad two. strikeout at a bad time. We have like a, not a great at bat with Suarez there. Decent piece of contact, but it's right to a defender with Raleigh and a base runner. Lifted in the air, he right hit that field. off the fucking plate. What? Hernandez. The hell was that? the leather on the running catch. The center fielder, Brent Rooker, and the batter now. The pitch was so low. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that low. It wasn't low in the zone at all. Never mind. Brent Rooker. It looked a little weird coming off the... Like, it looked like it bounced off the dish. The offense right. needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Comes up empty oh, on the swing. Oh, it's two now. I mean, it's a good... It's a... It's a good pitch that gets a swing, but... Got him looking. <laughs> got him looking. Two down. No, that's not the best. I don't know. Like, you get, you get one out, seen, okay, then you come through with a nice piece of contact with a good at bat in that led, that led to a good piece of contact with you just get a Colton bit Wong, up and then a terrible the strikeout. Expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Shoulder stroke. Up for the third time here. And a decent piece of contact just right to a defender. 
And we've had three or four good pieces of contact, including a perfect perfect that was like a, for a strike. And a count lazy one fly one. ball. Just missed. God damn it, that is the fucking pitch I want. I want that in the zone. That was so good. Pitch misses. And now three balls and a strike. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things uh, about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have God! It's so slow. It is so Very goddamn slow. Secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Throw, save! So with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty Been much better about well, making it at least competitive really with those stolen, stolen bases. bases. He can be pretty proud of himself. That misses. Oh my fucking God. Wentz, find the zone, man. Just missed. Oh, oh. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Makes Thank the you, play, Tyler. and that's out number three. The God, so many of those pitches like, weren't that bad, and they just hit that side of the zone. And outside. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Deolis Guerra. You're just trying complete. to keep this one close here. 13 this 9 is 1. Oh my goodness. Give their guys a chance to fight back into Deolis the game. Guerra. Now it's the Mariners' DH. 93 on a fastball. 84 on a circle change. Slider at 87. Curveball at 79. Sinker at 93. The pitch. Swings through that one for Too aggressive. One. I saw that 13 oh, no and right just, like, I mean, just went for it. That slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. That oh. misses the zone, and that's ball Or, one. you know, slow down and not swing it. Literally everything that's thrown toward the plate. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone. Two and one. Outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Right-handed reliever. 3-1, oh, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Julio Rodriguez. Check Sean, swing, but he Sean, went too far. Sean, one, one. stop. Fucking stop. He has not thrown a pitch in the strike zone, and you have given him two strikes. The pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three. But it's not in time. And they just get one. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Sam Haggerty. One for three. Swings through that one. Oh and one. I, I am driving myself fucking nuts. The pitch. Foul ball there. Rodriguez leads off first with one away. Going to count one and two. Riding to the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. J.P. Crawford up four. next for the Mariners. One for two. J.P. Crawford. Let's go, 
And there's the strike. No ball. One strike. This pitcher is not good. Stop swinging. One ball. It's one a pitch strike. out. Nothing doing. Fuck. And that's ball one. Good speed. On I mean, the you give him pass. a double he play that should have happened, but thanks to Julio well. Rodriguez's speed, and the then that fucking strikeout. Of hit and run or run and hit. So now one and two. That's a good pitch. That's a good pitch right there. It's the circle change. It's all the way at 81. The pitch. Foul ball. Still a one and two count. Way high. That misses the zone and the count's full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. 3 2 now. Line drive. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for Seattle, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. What a terrific example of... The last couple innings have actually been very good examples of why the offense has been so struggling, or, like, struggling so much, and why the scores we the have, we just now haven't really been, like, teeing off on teams that we should probably be playing much better against. We get a leadoff walk against a dude who has a 13 ERA and not the, the smallest sample size. 11 innings and 16 games and getting knocked get around a lot. We give him a strikeout. We'll We're giving him strikes on pitches that are nowhere fucking near the zone. The we get the leadoff walk. Can't really do anything with it. We bail him out with an attempt at a double play. Thankfully, Rodriguez's speed provides us with not a double play, but just one out. Then a terrible fucking strikeout with Haggerty. And a weak piece of contact. It's just, it's garbage. It's fucking trash, and I'm tired of it. It's exhausting. It is so, it is exhausting to just watch myself swing at a bunch of fucking bullshit. Like, the pitchers that they're bringing in are so bad that I just don't, I don't know how to do it. And he deals. There's the strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Got him. And there's one down. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Butler stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Oh, darn, I was looking for that. Looking for that immaculate inning. Left hand hitter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. I'm throwing a little bit too much in the same locations over and over. Left so let's hand just batter the eye level. And one and two. Oh, really good take, especially with two strikes. Tailed on me there. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. And next is the designated hitter, Zach Gellar. Ground ball up the middle. And it gets by him. We saw a lot of those kinds of hits against really nice Kansas City. Staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just oh. shot it through the infield. Wait, in the box. Slider didn't two quite bite where I it wanted it to get to. Strike. It's softly on the ground left side. On the run, throw to first. And the inning is over. One left for Oakland. They trail in this one, 3-0.
Yeah, only five hits. We've drawn a few walks, which is a, is an improvement, but I'm you know, it's not putting it all together in a way that I find satisfying. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty Sinker France. at 96, the slider at 84, four seam at 95. And the pitch. That's bad swing. Foul. Let him let him dot that sinker way up in the zone. There's no reason. I guess just try to time it up on that way late. And a foul ball left side. Slider just early. Not a good combination. Kicks and fires. In the air, right field. We'll drop, we'll drop. No trouble yeah. here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one a little down. bit more than I was anticipating. Teoscar Hernandez up next for the Mariners. Please. Started after the 0 1 pitch, Please. and now a check down to first. And yes, he offered at it. Fuck, get through all that goddamn shit. And now the lefty, a little out front there as he swings okay. through it. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Drew Steckenrider up and loosening in the pen. Cap dances out of the way of that one. There's two down. Oh my fucking god! And up next for up Seattle, next Seattle, Colton Wong. The second base. Good swing out of so him. So annoying. Time. Liner in the center. Whoa. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Okay. On the ground, out to short. Fires over to first. That takes care of Wong. And that is the third out of the inning. Mariners are down in order. But they leave. The pitcher on here. I'm happy Andres with the variety Rios. of way that we have scored Pretty runs. Home run, small ball, and sacrifice year. fly. That's good stuff. So kind of garbage everywhere else. Which is uh, just a little frustrating. It, it's I shouldn't be struggling against teams like this. But it's like when the, the game gets lower in its difficulty, and it just throws stuff all over the place. Uh, it's, just, it's hard to track. <clears throat> hard for me to track and figure out. Hard to lay off because I start to get impatient. I'm kind of bored at the Peterson. plate when someone comes in that's like just not competitive at all. That's in there. And it's 0-1. Oh, Munoz, a 6-2 righty, 24 years old. And he's a native of Mexico. Next offering is in for a strike. And the 2 Got him swinging. Well, the first batter, it's always On the positive side. Done a good job of shutting this offense down. Pitching has been pretty good, even if I don't love throwing it. any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that you're going to wrap this thing up. Aguilar, batting with one down, takes a strike. He definitely would be like the number five guy where you would look at like a CS or World Series and go like, do I use it? the right he deals. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. He's just a little, he's like kind of tricky to use, the and pitch. I just don't feel very. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Mm -hmm. And to a little very confident. Oh, it's tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and that this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And a pitch. And that's outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That misses. And now three and one. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. What the fuck happened there? Quite yet. So a man aboard 
Next up for the A's, Tyler Soderstrom. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss. And not that really sure what happened game. with that walk there. We it's don't walk a ton of guys with Nunez, and he has season, been game pretty consistently. Uh, usually throws an inning in save situation. He's picked up save number 50 in that scenario. Not sure what happened. I don't think I didn't slow myself down enough to just kind of like take a breath and try to reset. A lot of stuff just off the outside. Just off. But hey, we pick up a win. I don't know that I'm super thrilled with this win. I probably should be happier with it. Offensively, I think there's a lot, obviously a lot of room for improvement. Missed some pitches. I mean, this Hernandez one I thought was going to be out of the ballpark, and it just it ended up being a sacrifice fly. Which, I mean, hey, good for me to get with one out and the bases loaded, at least get a runner advanced to third and get the runner from third in. Uh, but not a whole lot going on. Run in the first, run in the second. I thought we were going to be kind of off and running, but it's not not a great offensive performance. Only five hits. We drew some walks, couldn't do a whole lot with it. Joey wins as your player of the game and your winner. Seven innings pitched, three hits, five strikeouts, one walk. James Caprillion, he gets the loss. Two earned in 4.1 innings pitched. He gave up three hits, struck out two, walked two. Munoz save number 50, as I mentioned earlier. Raleigh was one for three with a home run. Rodriguez was 0 for three with a run. He might be like 0 for six or 0 for seven in this series. Crawford was one for three with a ribby, and Ty France was one for three with a base on balls, a.k.a. a walk. Not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, just kind of, uh, hey, we got the win. I guess, you know, this is kind of where you want to just get wins. Maybe it's not the best, but... Eh. Tremel sustained an injury. Um... He'll be out for a few days. Strained bicep. Too much muscle. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't given up a run against this team, but, like, if you look at it, the offense has been pretty stagnant for the last, you know, week or so. At 12 nothing is more, is an anomaly. It was a very weird game. Um, but, you know, eking out one run wins against Houston a couple of times, one against Chicago, a two win, two run win. I don't know, it's just it's been walking a tightrope against teams that we should probably be playing better against. Chicago better in game than in real life, but like Kansas City's trash and we struggled mightily against them. Oakland's bad and we're playing better, haven't given up a run, but still feels like it should be a larger a larger gap, but hey, I mean this is where you just got to kind of take it and go, "Hey, we're getting wins against teams that we should be beating. Should we be, be should we be beating them by more?" Perhaps. Does it really matter? No. A win's a win, and it keeps us on our uh, on our win streak, which now hits 11 games. Logan Gilbert, he's on the bound, 16-3 and three with a 2-3-2 ERA, looking to uh, approach that 20-win mark. Kyle Muller, he is on the mound for the Athletics, 4-16 and 16 with a 4-4-3 ERA. As the Mariners looking to sweep the Athletics tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. Day off on Thursday, but I do have a video prepped and ready for you. So if you'd like to stick around and watch that on Thursday, be sure to check that out. And then we'll be back on Friday in New York to take on the Mets. We're going to be leading off the month of September um, with a pretty big East Coast road swing, Tampa Bay. That's probably like the next like truly good team that we play. Um... Cincinnati is, I think, playing much better in real life. And New York is playing much worse. So, yeah, Verlander and Scherzer for New York. So we could get to we could get some turbulence here in the next uh, next couple of series in that road trip. And then we'll be home and then away and then home. And then we'll be in the playoffs and it'll be awesome. Uh, thanks again so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed. We have clinched our division. Looking for that best record in the league and we should be uh, getting closer to that as we keep piling up the victories. Appreciate it. Um, we will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific time, right here on the channel. Scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos, and you can catch more Mariners baseball every day that the Mariners play here in MLB The Show 23. Good sports. Go Mariners. See you tomorrow.